It's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Vienna, Austria, Alexander Rakic! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Bruno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Kosasa! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Single collar tie here. Just missed on the front kick there. Great punch landed with so much power. You got looks like it did stop. That one was thrown to end the 
fight. Yep. Oh. <laughs> what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He will finish this fight. Just over three minutes to go, round one. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Big leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. You got him. Great punch. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, big left hook there. with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there and lands. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's get some Let's get Punch coming, it's blocked. He had a Such a fast leg kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for a very bad. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch land. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain. He's gonna... Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Boom! Big jab. Attempts the front kick there. Slips that left hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even 
sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Yuri Ganisa So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.